Hello everyone, this is Prussian Prince with a special video. So this is Total War Three Kingdoms. Uh, I was uh, provided a key by Creative Assembly. Um, many, many thanks to them for giving me this uh, key. It is much appreciated, so I'm very happy to be able to bring some Total War Three Kingdoms content to you guys. I've been out of the loop when it comes to Total War for a while. Maybe this is gonna be me going back into it somewhat at least. We'll see if I'm a big fan or not of Three Kingdoms. Gonna be honest here, I barely touched the game so far, but you know, so this is going to be a hands-on first time uh, me playing it as well, so you know, well, hopefully we'll learn together. I mean, if you're, if you already know a lot about the game or, you know, it might not be that useful for you to watch me play basically. Um, but yeah, so basically we are playing as Liu Bei, as you can see in the title. Uh, let's see what we got here. Faction specialization. D increases your prestige. Okay, so there it is. Locks administrative positions and increases income. Unit increases if generals are satisfied. Oh, nice. Faction can be managed with unique assignments. Features, ye archers, ye marksmen, I think ye archers and ye marksmen. Available for characters ranked 3 or higher, ye archers. And ye marksmen available for characters ranked 6 or higher, or roll rear line. Both are the same, so I guess this is just the higher level archer. We have shoe hunt tax collection, plus income, minus public order, and mechanical period order. Factions from the start of a campaign. Integrate the Nexus and integrates Han Empire settlements. Fair enough. Noteworthy characters Guan Yu and Zhang Bei. This. So, Yu Bei sees chaos in the face of Dong Zhuo and will not rest until. Well, just, just so you guys know, I have no clue about how Chinese stuff is uh, supposed to be pronounced. So, sorry if I butcher it, especially if there are Chinese viewers watching. I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> so, Liu Bei sees chaos in the face of Dong Zhu and will not rest until the tyrant's corruption is uprooted and the Han Dynasty restored. His family, the Liu family, is only nominally attached to the Han. To the Han. Yet there are still those who urge Liu Bei to redeem China from madness and restore the crumbling dynasty. Humble, virtuous, and kind, Liu Bei is an aspiring presence summoning strength from unlikely places and forging unshakable bonds with those who follow him. Okay, well, apparently we have a normal starting situation here. Excel inspiring friendly troops, but weaker in melee. Best group with the use of melee cavalry. China must be united. Uh, well, we are playing romance, but we can also play records, so, you know. I feel like we are definitely gonna play romance because that does seem kind of cooler uh, to play in a campaign, right? So, at least that's my opinion. I do like that there's two options for the campaign, you know? So we could go with this or we could go with this. Romance feels like a decent way to do things. So we're gonna go with romance. So, uh, yep, there, there we go. <laughs> Dian 刘备与兄弟结义誓要肝脑涂地匡扶汉室
虽获全胜，乱局如布，天下之祸乃在其心。忠臣良将们杀进宫中，斩杀十常侍，清除天下祸源。混乱之中，董卓控制了皇帝，猛将吕布常在其左右，天下无人敢与其为敌。董卓厚颜无耻，更有甚者，直呼其为董贼。袁绍率诸侯组成联军，意欲讨伐董卓，存救天下。面对联军讨伐，董卓西撤，回到长安寤保，顺便将都城洛阳夷为平地。初平元年。公元一九零年，关东联军破灭，四方诸侯各寻时机，在大乱中渔利。四海黄金余波未平，仍在祈求皇天之事，伺机而动。如今可谓大势已变，天下正值危急存亡之秋。Well, I suppose that's the little intro that we got, so, uh... Alright, pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, just for further notice, we're playing this campaign on normal. I don't like higher difficulties because it's just artificial difficulty, you know, just giving the AI more troops. It doesn't actually make it better in battles, uh, in my experience, and I believe that's what it has done for a while in Total War games. So I, that's why I don't like higher difficulties. I like to play on normal, uh, and this is the first my first foray into the game as well. So <laughs> makes sense that uh, I'd be playing normal as well, right? Like not gonna go full on into legendary day one anyway. So um, yeah, what else do, should I mention? Oh yeah, I went full Chinese voiceovers and stuff with subtitles on. Actually, I should check if the subtitles are on. Maybe this is part of the subtitle. Or maybe it's there anyway. I'll have to check. Anyway, let's hit continue and go. So establish your power. Lord Liu Bei Tong Zhu has Lord Liu Bei. Okay. So he's addressing to Lord Liu Bei. He's addressing me. Lord Liu Bei Tong Zhu has seized the Emperor and now wields imperial power to his own tyrannical ends. The Han Dynasty must be saved, even if you must take their lands back by force. First, we must defeat the nearby Yellow Turban insurgents, then find a place to build our strength. Nearby Tao Qian and Kong Rong are Han loyalists who may offer us aid. <clears throat> yes. So wait, we actually have... Yeah, those are the three objectives. So there we go. Fair enough. Bay and his brothers face the yellow, yellow turban scourge. The empire of your lineage hangs in the balance. You must stand to defend it. While there are avaricious warlords looking to profit from the empire's fall, your first priority must be to deal with the, the, with the perennial nuisance of the yellow turbans. First of all, I'm going to go over and check if the subtitles are on. Yes, they're on. You can see all the Chinese stuff here. And Chinese stuff, you know. Chinese audio diplomacy speech, Chinese audio voiceover speech, and Chinese audio advisor speech. So, there you have it. <laughs> so, um, we have selected our army here. Oh, and by the way, if, you're, if you want to know my graphic settings, here they are. We're also playing this on extreme unit size. Might be a little bit crazy, the fact that I'm doing that, but let's see if it's gonna work out. <laughs> yeah, it's basically ultra settings with a few changing slower, uh, with a few uh, settings lowered, and this one here turned up to the max. So we'll see if the game can handle it. This is 天下终将成为你的。哎、okay. 
We actually have pins, so if we click on this... Oh, this is pretty cool. Memos. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if we click on Lube... Uh, by the way, you can see we're using alternative unit cards. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys want to see me use this one or if you want me to use say, the original ones, which are these ones. I personally like the alternative unit cards, but maybe that's uh, just me. Where are they again? Interface. Yes. Maybe that's just me though. All right, so we have Lube selected. Uh, we don't actually have anything, but you know we might as well. Um, right, stand normal, unity motivated. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and fight them, I guess. <laughs> Forces to those of the enemy, na, 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 the number, and the influence, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Our advisors predict a decisive advantage. Victory. You can delegate this. Delegate is probably auto resolve, right? Weird that it's called auto resolve. So far, what do I think about the interface? Well, I like that it's simple so far. Is it efficient in being simple? We'll see. I do like the. Uh, I do like the simplicity though. Simplicity is good. Bolton Oh, there we are. Alright. So, there's another setting I have here. So, you know, typically, you will see the... Uh, each unit with the part of its own... Uh, I mean... Each unit actually has one of these commanders as a retinue leader, so to speak, right? So... But I didn't... I changed that because I don't like that. I prefer when all the unit cards are over here. So, for example, the default is uh, basically this one. Where is it? In category sorting. See, this is the default. I don't like it when it's like this. I prefer it when it's like that. I think that's much cooler. I'm using some hotkeys here, which I picked up by looking at the game. So apparently F5 is to select all melee units. Um, F6 is to select the bows. They're already on skirmish mode. Fire at will, melee mode. Bunch of different ones here. F is melee mode. Pretty good. Um, double guard mode. Of course we group with that. One of the preset formations. Unnecessary to use formations, honestly. Um, okay. We have some cav, we'll put one cav on each flank. Now, Lube. We should probably look at the stats of our guys. Who's the better guy? Melee, yeah, obviously Guan. And this guy is pretty good. Melee power. Hmm. We could do very well. It has very high melee power. Guang Yu and yeah, Guan Yu or Zhang Fei, right? I'm not gonna put Liu Bei in there, right? So what's with our troops here? The G militia, the marksman. I wonder if archers can shoot from behind, right? These banners are pretty cool, by the way. 
Um, let me see the enemy as well. He's over here. The camera speed lower than it should be. Yes, definitely isn't as good as it should be. We will, of course, want to. There we go. Now it's moving far better. Okay. Sorry, I just had to do that. Okay. I'll actually use groupings for my commanders as well. That that's kind of. I like to use groupings for normally. We will probably group the archers and we will group the infantry. Actually, we don't need to group those. Um, that's fine. Actually, no, we will group the archers, but the rest don't need to be grouped. So let's see, we're gonna hit play. I wonder if we should put the archers behind though. The default to run is very good as an option. Uh, now this guy here, we could oh, only four melee power. Let's send our boy Guan Yu or Zhang Fei. Our boy. Have him duel. Really? Oh. I want to lose these guys here. Need a duel. Should be easy win for Guan Yu. Really easy win for Guan Yu here, I think. Unfortunately, we can't be looking at this too much here. We're busy fighting. <laughs> it's interesting that he's trying to flank me here. We're winning pretty nicely here, and this should be a victory. Oh, we just caught him getting destroyed. Good one, Guan Yu. That's what I expect out of you, you know? Just keep wrecking them. Okay, the archers here are basically still doing work. I'm gonna send the cav out for the... to make sure that we don't get... The, these guys don't go back. <clears throat> Oh, we did never use this. We never used the abilities. Oh, that, and we still won that so easily, huh? That duel, pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, so we can basically claim victory now, or let our guys chase. Let's let our guys chase for the moment. So. I don't like this line of sight thing. It's. Feels like it's not fully clear. The range, right? But Especially of all units, because not all of them have the same line of sight, right? I think that could be better. The tidbit. Well, first impression is pretty decent, uh, actually. I'm enjoying it. The optimization isn't as great, but. No, it, it is definitely playable. I was really hoping it would run better though, but it's not bad. And I mean, maybe new NVIDIA drivers, maybe optimization patches, uh, it's gonna go probably run better. And we are on extreme unit size, so that's another thing that's uh, affecting it. Probably looks fine on uh, video though. Uh, decisive victory. Yep. I mean, I do have a 4790K and a GTX 1080, so it isn't top of the line uh, anymore. But, you know, it's pretty good setup, but not fully top of the line. Especially for 1440p, right? Still, I was hoping for a little bit more performance. 
，你取得了胜利，剑锋所指，敌军战俘是生是死，全凭你决断。你可以将他们招入行伍，也可以处决他们，防止他们再与你为敌。Hmm. So we can recruit ransom and release. See supplies. What? Ransom and release sounds fine. Taste the victory. Ooh, three turns. More military supplies. More morale. Sounds excellent to me. Bring peace, Liu Bei marches to claim Yellow Turban lands. Restoring the Han will take all of your strength, Liu Bei. Let's crush the local Yellow Turban stronghold, seize it for yourself, and bring peace and justice back to the people. Only then you can focus on greater matters. So we have to capture and occupy Dong here, which is an iron mine. Look at these guys working, <laughs> mining away. They're not just mining though, they're doing other stuff. Anyway, that's enough for the first episode, you know, a short little introductory battle. We got everything rolling. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment right, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on social media and I'll see you next time.